This morning, our ongoing series, Issues That Matter, takes up the immigration debate that affects millions of people in the U.S. A federal judge last night blocked the Trump administration's plan to phase out the DACA program that protected young people brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Earlier, President Trump negotiated with legislators from both parties for nearly an hour with the cameras rolling. The president indicated he's willing to reverse his position on DACA, but also said he wants increased border security measures. In an exchange with Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, the president suggested this could happen in multiple stages. Now, that brought a quick response from House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy. What about a clean DACA bill now and with a commitment that we go into a comprehensive immigration reform procedure. We're going to do DACA, and then we can start immediately on the phase two, which would be comprehensive. Mr. President, you, you need to be clear, though. I, th I think what Senator Feinstein's asking here, mm -hmm. when we talk about just DACA, we don't want to be back here two years later. You have to have security, as the secretary would tell you. But I think that's what she's saying. No, I think, no, well, no, no, I think she's saying, saying something different. I think, think I'm saying that. I'm thinking you're saying DACA without security. <laughs> what I approve is going to be very much reliant on what the people people in this room come to me with. I have great confidence in the people. If they come to me with things that I'm not in love with, I'm going to do it because I respect them. Republican Senator James Langford of Oklahoma was in that meeting. He is a member of the Senate Homeland Security meeting. Senator Langford, good morning. Good morning. Many times when we talk to senators, we say, take us inside the room, but we got to see it all. <laughs> so my question for you, though, is based on what we saw, how likely do you think a bipartisan deal on DACA is? No, I think it's been very likely all along. Uh, the president in September came out and said, I want to be able to have a legislative solution for DACA. I want to also do border security, do chain migration. And then he added later uh, the visa lottery when that becomes such a big issue. Those four issues, what he's hammered on over and over again. Uh, there's been meetings in a bipartisan way for uh, about three months now uh, to try to be able to work through the process to be able to figure out what that is. Then you saw a much larger gathering of it yesterday at the White House. But it so sounds, I think it's very likely. But it sounded like Senator Feinstein and got the president to sign off on a clean bill. I, I, you, you would have to be there for the whole context of the whole meeting. The whole meeting was all, uh, about two hours. Uh, the press was in there about the first 50 minutes of it. There was a lot of back and forth. The president laid out the very beginning. When he talks about doing DACA, it always includes border security. It always includes uh, chain mm -hmm. migration, those things. But he wants to limit it just to that, not do everything that was in the comprehensive bill and then do a second. I think uh, Senator Feinstein misunderstood that, and she was trying to say, well, let's just only do DACA. And he was saying, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, knowing those four things that he'd already laid out as the principles. So at the end of this meeting, Senator, was there a net increase in clarity on the president's position and on where things are going, or it seems kind of muddy? No, I, I think there was real clarity in it, and he was trying to be able to work through. In fact, at the very end, Kevin McCarthy came back. Again, cameras right at that point to be able to go around the whole table with 20-some-odd people uh, there at the table, both House and Senate Republicans and Democrats, and say, can we agree these are the four areas? We're not going to do visa areas. We're not going to do some other areas that complicate a lot the immigration conversation. Just deal with the DACA and trying to deal with a permanent uh, answer for what's happening for those DACA students. Uh, then also deal with uh, border security. We're still trying to define out the parameters of what that really means. But I think there's wide agreement on doing border security. Uh, obviously, the chain migration has been a big issue. If you have about uh, a million people, let's say 800,000, whatever that number may be for DACA, that's going to affect a lot of other families. So we have to deal with the chain migration as well. Be able to figure out exactly what that means for the future. You say the border security is still open to debate. Isn't that the key and important crux of the issue, which is Democrats don't want a wall as a condition for taking care of these uh, DACA kids? It has been. It's kind of an interesting debate. In 2006, there was wide bipartisan support for what was called the Secure Fence Act. Uh, at that time, 650 miles of fencing was added to the southern border. Uh, that was not a partisan issue at that point. Uh, it has become a partisan issue. I think the president uh, tried to provide greater clarity yesterday that I hadn't heard him say before when he said out loud in front of the whole group with the media there, I'm not talking about a wall from sea to shining sea. This is not a 2,000-mile wall. Uh, there are certain sections of that border that need a wall, uh, and that we need to do that. Other areas we need technology, other areas we need additional manpower, and quite frankly, there are loopholes in the law uh, that we've got to be able to fix. That's part of the border security. If someone can get across the border and use loopholes in the law to be able to stay here, uh, that becomes an issue as well. So all of those things are there, but it's not a 2,000 mile wall. Uh, I don't think that was ever his intent, but he was very clear about it yesterday. Okay, because he does seem to say, Senator, different things at different times. So you think DACA That's can correct. pass? Yeah. You, you think, think that it will pass, pass without the border wall? 
Uh, it, it's not a matter of without the border wall. There will be sections of the border wall that will be there. That's that's a part of border security. It's just not going to be a complete border wall for the entire 2,000 miles. Okay. It's going to be targeted but, specific areas. Do you think it was helpful or hurtful to have the cameras there? It, it, it seemed to expose a lot of contradiction and conflict within the room. You know, I, I think it's entirely appropriate to say the truth. It was interesting. Uh, I don't know that I've, I've not been around this town very long, uh, but it was interesting to be able to have the cameras in that meeting that long. Uh, as some of the press pool was leaving, one of the folks from the press pool turned and looked at me and said, that was unprecedented. We never had this kind of access to a meeting in the White House uh, that we had yesterday because they were in there for the, the majority of the meeting. Uh, but I think it is interesting for people to be able to see the give and take, trying to provide clarity. It's one of the things I've said over and over again about immigration. If you don't define the scope of what you're talking about, you'll never get on to the next issue of trying to define that. And it's exceptionally important uh, for these DACA students and for the families around the country, and quite frankly, for all of us dealing with border security, that we get this right. All right. Well, it was certainly interesting to have a glimpse into the, to be in the room where it happened, so to speak. Thank you very much, Senator right. Lankford, for joining us this morning. And good morning and welcome, John. All Thank right. you, Senator. Very nice. Thank you, Senator.